Is it me where I'm giving strong Morticia Adams vibes right now? I'm liking it. If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be the beginning of a new reading vlog. I have been trying to focus more and more on fall reads because fall is finally here, almost. And I'm very, very excited to pick up some books that I've been looking forward to reading. I'm trying to set the mood. So we have two. The first one is this one, which is a new release. It seems to be getting a ton of hype already. And it is part of the Reese Witherspoon book club, which it's been hit and miss for me. But this one, I have really high hopes because uh, wrong time, no, wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> uh, seems exactly up my alley. I feel like mystery thrillers have been a little hit and miss for me in the past, but this one includes some sci-fi elements, which seems to work generally for me. So you're following this woman and she saw her son uh, murder men. She saw it then after she went to bed, she wakes up and then it's the same day. She's like reliving the same day over and over again. I'm a huge fan of that trope. So like a murder mystery with like some time traveling or time loop, I should say, super exciting. And the second one is Vita Nostra, which I'm not sure if that's how you're pronouncing it. When in doubt, pronounce it in French. Um, this one is like dark academia, kind of magical school vibe. I've heard that this is going to be one of the weirdest books that I've ever read. And I feel like it's giving strong fall vibes to me. I. Hopefully I'm right, but that's the vibes I'm getting. And I've heard nothing but fantastic things, although I've been warned that it's kind of heavy. So this is the mood for this week. Some dark academia, which works, and then a murder mystery. So I think things should go well for me. Speaking of murder mystery, uh, let's say thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. June's Journey is a free to download a video game where you're trying to solve a murder mystery, more specifically, the murder of the main character's sister and her husband. So you don't know what happened and you're trying to piece things together throughout the story, you're getting uh, more information and more of the family secrets. It's set in the 1920s, so you get all the glamour settings, the cute backgrounds and the music to go with it. It's essentially a hidden object mystery game. So you get a list of objects to find on the screen and it becomes more and more challenging over time with more and more objects on the screen. It's very relaxing. Personally, I don't do well with stressful video games. So this is definitely up my alley. Um, you can do it very, very chill, which is what I do. Or if you want it to be a little bit more challenging, you can try to find the objects really quickly. You get more points that way, which I don't do because again, no stress for me. It's definitely the least stressful way to solve a murder mystery, which is definitely the only way I would want to solve a murder mystery. You also get to decorate the Allen, which I'm gonna put some examples on the screen. These are not mine because I am not very good at this. I'm working on it though. Personally, I'm nearing the end of chapter two, which it's been really fun and slightly addicting. So if you're interested in checking out the game, I will link all the information in the description box so you can check it out. And I'm gonna go back to solving this murder mystery. Hopefully it's as good as I'm hoping. Hi, first update. Um, I I put a lot of post-it. I got some like fall post-its <laughs> to stay on team. Don't ask questions. I was doing some renovation this morning. You know, I'm changing the library, my bedroom to a library. Um, I I it was exhausting. So I decided that I would take a nap. But to fall asleep, I would read. And here I am. <laughs> I read like a hundred wet and fifty pages. No nap was taken, um, but it's so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. Although I was wrong about the premise. Well, it is a time loop, but it's not like 100% what I thought. It's not a spoiler because you figure out, I think it's page like 40 or something. But uh, I thought that this woman was seeing her son murdering someone and then she was reliving the same day over and over again. I love time loops. I need to do a video on the topic. Let me know if you're interested. But turns out that she's not reliving the same day over and over, but she's going backward in time. Kind of like trying to figure out like butterfly effect, how she got there or her son got there, which I think is even better. I'm clearly <laughs> really into it. Uh, although from the beginning, there's just something about descriptions of characters in mystery thrillers that is so typical of them. And I can't explain why. But like page 11, for example, she's describing her husband's eyes. Like she meets his navy eyes. It's so typical. I don't know why it makes me laugh every time. Like recently I read Upgrade by Blake Crouch. And page one, uh, someone's character, I think it's also their eyes are described as like Scandinavian eyes. I don't know why they're always like this. And every time it just makes me laugh because no. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to mention that in the past, I've described some books, actually some by Blake Crouch, as dad's recommendations. Like, I feel like they're such dad books, even though I obviously enjoy them. I'm not a dad. Although there was that one drunk video where I told you to call me daddy. Um, but <laughs> 
this is a mom recommendation. I am loving it twice so far. Do you see the, the green post-its? Twice I laughed. Laughed. I love when that happens. I feel like laughing out loud, not just like being like, haha in your head. No, laughing. I'm not going to tell you the jokes, but there were definitely mom jokes and they're great. They're really, really good. I can't put it down. I don't know where this is going. I just have to say though, speaking of her husband, I'm getting weird vibes from him. Like the way she's describing him, like, yes, she finds him sexy, blah, blah, blah. But like, like she's basically saying that he has anger issues at times, like having issues controlling his temper. And like, it seems to be like, little pieces and I don't know if it's on purpose or not is he supposed to seem suspicious or not like you never know with these books I feel like I I'm trying to tell myself to just enjoy the ride but every time my brain is like no I can figure it out <laughs> just like I don't want to do this because this very much feels like a popcorn read I regret not starting it well I, I couldn't I hadn't finished the other one but like I regret not finishing starting it yesterday and like spending the whole weekend in bed with a crack window, with a big blanket, like a tea, and read this. Because I feel like this is the perfect weekend drinking tea, reading a book kind of book. So clearly I'm very excited, which, oh gosh, I was so worried because I haven't been lucky with the Reese Witherspoon's um, book club so far. But it seems like I might be, finally, finally. So I'll keep you updated. Uh, I still have like 250 pages to go, but so far so good. I forgot to mention, her son seems lovely, though. Like, so that's why it's so weird for him to, like, murder someone out of nowhere. He seems like a super nice kid. Good morning. I finished the book. I read this so quickly. Um, I, I'm going to keep my review spoiler-free because I think a lot of you will want to read this because it's brand new also. Um, I really, really enjoy this. I feel like there weren't too many twists. Like, nothing felt forced. It's definitely, like, a fun popcorn read but I was a lot more emotionally invested than I expected I really really enjoyed the family dynamic uh the you know messages lessons in here like I said nothing felt too forced I feel like sometimes some mystery thrillers there's like too many twists like to try to catch you it didn't feel like that at all and um I don't know what to read it though because I feel like I haven't been lucky with mystery thrillers I feel like a lot of popular ones I end up giving like max three stars too and this one i kind of want to i don't know if it's like a four point something but i think i'm gonna run it up to five because i feel like sometimes you know how like for example romance i don't read a ton of romance books but for a romance book it's a five stars but it's like hard to compare it to everything else i read because it's so different and again i don't read a ton of like i keep calling it a popcorn read but like i don't read a ton of books like this one so it's hard to rate it especially right after finishing it but it was great. It was great. So I think I'm going to round it up to five. F it. Um, it's good. Read it. Pick it up. I feel like I'm noticing how the ones that have a hint of sci-fi work better for me. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know because I think I'm going to do some research and try to find more like that because they seem to just work so much better. So yes, rounding it up to five. I highly recommend you pick it up if you haven't. It's worth it. I am giving it my seal of approval. I feel like I haven't done that for a mystery thriller in forever. So it means that I can start book two so quickly. This one is the magical school one. I have heard that it's gonna confuse the crap out of me. So <laughs> good thing it's gonna, I'm gonna have a few more days than I had planned for this one because I read the other one quickly. So wish me luck, but hopefully it's worth the hype too. It would be great to have two five stars in one video. Another day, another rainstorm. Uh, you can see it's very moody outside, which is perfect to read Dark Academia. Um, however, I'm like 50 pages into the book so far and I, I need to go back so I'm gonna do a quick update there are no chapters which that is weird I'm still waiting for the whole magical school to happen but so far I'm fully absorbing the book like fully absorbed it's nothing like I was expecting uh although all I knew was weird in magical school um but this girl Sasha she goes on a trip with her mom that's how it starts and this man starts following her and he's basically forcing her to do weird stuff. I'm going to keep it vague because you need to experience it yourself because <laughs> weird stuff under the threat that something horrible is going to happen to people she cares about. So like her mom dying or something. Um, and I think that's like the admission test to go into the magical school. <laughs> but like, I, it's so weird already, but in a really good way. Like time loop was in there. I, I love time loops. I mean, I love time loops. So, so far... I'm 
really liking it. Uh, the no chapter thing is weirding me out, but I'll adapt and yeah, I'll update you later or tomorrow because okay, so much it's much later and I need to update you because um, I'm at page like 100 and something and I really hated some of the other characters like Lisa, bad vibes from her. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like rivalry, rivalry? Yeah, between two girls or something, but she's a little bit of a bitch. Um, but it was just revealed what her test for admission was, and now I feel bad. I'm going to put it in the comment section on their spoiler, because I don't want to say anything else. But not everyone has had the same test. And I don't know why they're forcing them to do so many weird things. And it's so weird. There's nothing explained. Like, you're learning at the same time as the character and they're not telling her anything and it's so weird but i'm liking it i can't put it down i need to know um but yeah i don't think it's going to be like a magical school like a normal one that you know they, they learn spell or whatever it seems very vague um it's not even said that it's magic but like i'm assuming it is <laughs> i don't understand anything but I'm, I'm liking it i'll probably read a little bit more tonight and then uh, i'll update you tomorrow but I I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know how to update you. I am so confused. She's been told that she's still too corp corporeal. Is that how you say that? Corporeal? Like, too f physical form? What is going on? Like, the tests are not explained. What she's learning is not explained. But they are under threat that if they don't do as they're told and they don't pass their test, then their family members are going to die. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Like, no thoughts, just vibes. But I'm still liking it. Um, but the main character is a bit too chill because when she was in first year, because you go through a couple years apparently uh, in the first book, in the first year, she was looking at the students that were like in second and third year. Um, and they were weird, like, like would stop mid sentence, like I just did, and like just start physically look weird and like. She was obviously worried about it, but now she did, she's at that stage and she's very chill about being that person. Like, she, she doesn't worry about it anymore. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, the magic is changing her. I'm getting strong magical realism vibes from the magic system, which is normally not my thing. But so far, so good. We'll update you by the end. But it's just, I, I don't know what to think. But I'm liking it. I'm continuing to read. I want to keep reading. I. <laughs> this is so weird. The only thing um I didn't really, I, I thought was weird is the whole virginity thing. Like teacher basically telling her that well maybe if you lose your virginity you'll do better. Um, hopefully that makes sense later on, but like the fact that like her family is telling her when she goes to visit them during um vacation that like you stop mid sentence and stuff and she's like oh okay. Do I? I was just looking for my words. Last year, you were terrified of other people doing that. And now you're just doing it, and it's fine. It's, it's totally okay. But yeah, the teachers are not sure what to do with her. I don't know what she is, but they're trying to determine what, what profession she will be. Um, And they don't know what to do with her. She's really struggling. But, like, the way they're learning the magic is, like, them staring at, like, nonsensical long sentences and they have to memorize things that make no sense and repeat them and again if they don't do it then there's the the maybe your family will die thing <laughs> over their head <laughs> like what is going on i don't understand anything anyway uh, i'm gonna keep reading i had been warned that i wouldn't understand anything but hopefully things will make more sense eventually but like the overall story still makes sense. It's just the magic that really confuses me. And she's just getting way too chill about the whole situation. That's where I'm at at the moment. But yeah, I'll, I'll update you. Hopefully. Also, why does she keep puking coins? I want that explained to me. What is going on? Good morning. I woke up with a headache. Again. Um, I think this is my sign to go get tested for sleep apnea. I'm going on a little tangent here, but if you have sleep apnea or know someone, please let me know in the comment section what were your symptoms and like how it's going because I don't like going to the doctor, but I think I have no choice now. Like I've always snored. I knew that, 
but I've woken up with a headache a couple times this month. And like I wake up, my throat hurts, my mouth is dry. I'll wake up like I've been underwater. And the other day I even woke up myself because I could hear myself. I was making this weird throat noise, which is like, shoot, like definitely sounds like I have sleep apnea. And I even have one of those like um, Garmin watches. So my other arm, uh, <laughs> I got it for my birthday a couple months ago and it tracks your sleep and stuff. And like, I never really like focus too much on that part because I don't think they're super accurate. Um, but I have a friend that got one recently and her sleep is always in the green, like 90% plus oxygen level. And this is me on a typical night. And like on its own, like I said, I wouldn't really take it seriously, but I think in combination with all the other symptoms, I think I probably should go get tested. It's just that I don't like the doctor, but also like I don't really want to test positive <laughs> because I know people think Canada, free healthcare. However, apparently breathing while you sleep is a luxury, so it's not free and I don't have private insurance. So I think the machines are like $2,000. I don't know if any of it is covered by like provincial insurance so i don't know how much it would be and like sure better sleep but is it really going to be two thousand dollar better sleep <laughs> i don't know anyway um i need to go to the doctor i don't want to but i think i will have to so uh let me know because i'm curious but i finished a book last night i have to say this is one of the weirdest books i've ever read literally the first thing i did when i finished this was to Google Vita Nostra ending explained. That tells you that the ending wasn't super clear, but it makes sense with the book. Like I'm not mad about it. I usually don't like open endings and I wouldn't call it open per se, but it's definitely a little vague. Uh, reading people's explanations online just made me feel dumb. <laughs> I will be the first one to admit it. Okay, I, I it's fine. Um, it seems to have a lot of metaphors that went way ahead my head, way over my head and I'm okay with it. I, I mean, I read usually for pure enjoyment. So even though it was one of the weirdest books that I've read, and even though I would call the magic system a little bit magical realism, which I haven't really liked in the past, this this time it works. Like it's very heavy on the like weird, vague magic. And um, the prose is really heavy too. So I think that people that enjoy like Aaron Morgenstern kind of books, you would enjoy this. Super strange, but I feel like it starts sane. <laughs> as is the main character and then it gets weirder and more complicated as she goes through the years in school so it, like it makes sense like it's affecting her um so I thought it was really really well done again I feel a bit too dumb for this book <laughs> but it was great uh the ending was pretty solid um and I would recommend this book I think I'm gonna give it four stars minus one because you know feeling dumb so <laughs> I need a few days to digest it, but my first impressions are positive. I would recommend this if you like magical school, like I said, magical realism, really heavy on the prose, and you like weird books. When I do an update, because I did a video about the weirdest books that I've read, I'll link that if you're interested. Um, when I do a part two, this is going to be in there because the whole time I was like, what am I reading? But I couldn't stop. That's it. That That's my review. <laughs> for now but yes would recommend it i think this was a really successful reading vlog um two full ish read um i finished it's actually right there next to me on the couch so one five and one four i really well 4.5 it doesn't matter two that i really really enjoyed like two new favorites that you will see me talk about i think that's super successful like two new favorite books in one vlog in one week yeah absolutely would recommend both of these uh if you want to feel dumb and if you want to just have fun <laughs> would recommend them uh that's it i hope you enjoyed this vlog thumbs up subscribe you don't want to miss that out and uh i will be seeing you next video soon i'm gonna go get some advils <laughs> bye